I'm Ben Goldin, Chief Product and Technology Officer for Mumble. We provide cloud banking engine, uh, enabling banks uh, to build composable banking architectures. I guess we want to position ourselves stronger in Asian market. We want to make sure people understand what we are doing. And uh, we hope to help uh, new financial companies here to achieve their success with the help of Mambo. So traditionally, there are a few challenges in, in, in the industry, specifically related to the technology in banking, right? And I, I think there are three things. First is the speed. Um, how fast banks can actually adapt to changes and uh, uh, make sure that they can uh, provision infrastructure fast, um, work with their vendors to implement whatever products and changes they need. Uh, it usually takes let's say from 6 to 12 months to make something happen, uh, to release some new product into the market. And second thing is the flexibility. Whatever bank want to innovate and create great customer experiences for their users, uh, they usually face a problem with ability to take a best of class service that is available in the ecosystem, integrate that with existing infrastructure, uh, but also what's more important, being able to change that as things evolve in the market. And as we say, the change is constant, right? Uh, traditional banks, they were built to last. But uh, today organizations, especially technology-driven organizations, are built to change. And if we take an example of uh, Airbnb, Uber, or any other tech-driven company, it's one of the fundamental aspects. They experiment a lot, they change a lot, they leverage ecosystems, and they also transform their products actually into digital platforms. That's what we call a composable banking. It's essentially bringing that concept from the, uh, that is now uh, a, a main philosoph philosophical driver for the tech-driven companies into the banking industry. I can give you specifically an example of ABN AMRO. I think it's a great example. Uh, what they did, uh, they created a greenfield organization that they call New10. Uh, focusing on a specific market segment that wasn't that attractive to the bigger uh, organization or it was attractive but it was difficult to approach that segment and, and they've built the whole stack from scratch including also the way how they work they apply all agile uh, practices in the way of working and they manage to achieve significant results in a very short time so they managed to launch a new proposition uh, in six or nine months comparing to traditional organizations where it usually take from one to three years. Uh, traditional banks are challenged not only with the technology itself, but also with the mindset and with the existing legacy of corporate structure and a lot of bureaucracy. And that usually is a major um, um, a stopper or a major challenge on the way to innovate fast and create something new fast in an agile and a tech-driven way. And that's why many, we see many banks are actually creating spin-offs, as we call them speedboats, uh, that allow them to innovate and run faster, measuring uh, risks and understanding what type of risks they would like to take right now and maybe um, address them a little bit later based on the actual context and actual situation. Uh, one of the biggest challenges to uh, enter new regions and new countries is to convince regulators that cloud is actually way more secure than running your own infrastructure and hosting systems in your own data center. So I would say that's one of the uh, major challenges for us, uh, expanding into new markets, really working with regulation and convincing them that it's a good choice to go to cloud. There are still, I would say there are still few jurisdictions where it's not accepted, but for the rest of the world, uh, we really see a lot of traction and a lot of acceptance from regulators. And also I would say probably this event is also a proof of that, right? It's organized, one of the organizers is also uh, the, the FinTech Association and uh, uh, monet Monetary Authorities of Singapore. And that shows an interest and also belief uh, in the cloud. Well, I think at the end of the day, all the banks will need to embrace this change in one or the other way. Because otherwise, uh, it will be harder and harder to get people to uh, use the bank who is not on par with the expectations and not on par with what's offered by other essentially mobile apps on your phone, because today a bank uh, is becoming a mobile app on your phone, nothing more than that, right? And if you have a mobile apps that offer you a great uh, customer experience, you obviously expect the same from all other mobile apps on your phone, including bank. Obviously for many banks, changes take uh, a lot of time, and it starts with the mindset, as I mentioned before. It starts with understanding that you need to focus on the customer first, um, you need to work in a way more pragmatic way, 
you need to innovate fast and change pretty much every day. Um, so I would say it will still take a lot of time. Mm -hmm.